Before a prescription drug reaches your medicine cabinet, regulators and researchers work to make sure that it's not just effective, but also safe for you to take. Yet data shows that as many as one out of every three drugs approved in the United States has safety issues. How is this possible? Clinical trials cannot possibly represent every type of patient who might eventually take the drug. And some side effects are so rare that they simply do not occur in the course of a clinical trial. This means that monitoring drugs' impact on patients must continue, even after drugs are approved and available. That requires a process known as pharmacovigilance. Pharmacovigilance involves three basic steps. First, collecting information on side effects. Patients can report to their healthcare provider or directly to the drug company. Both can then convey the information to the Food and Drug Administration. Second, reviewing clinical data. The FDA reviews the data it receives and flags products that have a high rate of side effects. Third, responding to clinical data. If the FDA has a safety concern, it may evaluate the drug further or take regulatory action, such as updating the drug's label or communicating findings to the public. For pharmacovigilance to work, we need policies that encourage awareness, accuracy, and efficiency. It also requires policies that distinguish between similar drugs, such as biologics and their biosimilar counterparts. Names, billing codes, and labels that are specific to each individual drug can encourage accurate, timely monitoring of side effects. Ensuring that drugs are safe in real-world use is an ongoing challenge. Policies that support strong pharmacovigilance allow patients and their healthcare providers to effectively use drugs that treat their medical conditions and improve their day-to-day -day lives. 